Good morning. I am not the biggest hot coffee or hot drink in general drinker in the world, but I thought I would try some today. We got some dark chocolate coffee from a local place and I thought I'd give it a try. I do love dark chocolate, so it's actually pretty good. It kind of reminds me of hot chocolate, which is like one hot drink I can usually tolerate, but with coffee in it, obviously. So I'm actually enjoying it. And this mug matches my hoodie. All right, so today I have some editing to do some cleaning up. We started the laundry earlier and then tonight we are going to get together thing downtown. Um, but anyways, happy Saturday. Update. So we are not going downtown. Matt and I are just going to have a little us time. We are going to go get dinner somewhere. I think Outback is what we're thinking. Just such like a, a funny thing to me. Outback is like our classic go-to restaurant and it used to be where my family went for like birthday dinners all the time and Matt used to actually work at one. I think we're going to go there. And then we may do something else. I think it'll depend on how I'm feeling after. So, but anyways, I am going to get ready for our date night because you girl needs a glow up. <laughs> I am sitting in my office right now and I have a little makeup mirror situation going. So I thought maybe we'd try this. I tried to do one of these yesterday, but the angle was really bad. I looked really weird. And also I think the phone was too far away. So it, the audio was just horrible. So yeah. I'm going to get ready and have a little chat with you. This is one of my all-time holy grail products. This is the Pixie Rose Flash Balm Instant Skin Booster. I honestly, I bought this one a while ago because I don't do like full makeup that often, but I've been using not the specific one, but this kind of primer for a couple of years now. And I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my skin feel and one I just always come back to. So. That's what I'm going to start off with. This foundation is the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, Lauder? Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. I am in the shade 1W2 Sand, but I got this for my wedding actually, but I really like it. It's my favorite like liquid foundation, like full coverage kind of foundation. If I ever want to do more than just my normal daily routine makeup, this is the foundation that I reach for. From a non-makeup guru, I feel like this actually does last a long time and it lays pretty well on my skin and doesn't look too cakey. Um, so I, I also am a, a brush application girly. I have tried beauty blenders and I like them, but I don't know if it's a texture thing or what. I just have always liked using a brush better when applying foundation or liquids. So this one is from Farah. I used to get the uh, makeup delivery boxes, <laughs> also the uh, foundation mustache. That looks hilarious. I used to get boxes from Ipsy, which is basically, if you don't know, it's like a subscription service and they send you samples every month of makeup products and skincare stuff. And I got quite a few brushes from them, this being one of them, but I really like it for foundation. I feel like it applies it pretty well. I don't actually know if that's what this is for, but it's what I use. This is actually the routine I did for my wedding. I did my own face makeup and then my younger sister did my eye makeup for me and I mean I think I look pretty good in my wedding photos in the video so OG Tarte Shape Tape I'm the shade Fair Beige for a concealer I want to know if you have any YouTuber beauty YouTube recommendations or Instagram or anything. I used to watch a lot of beauty YouTube when I was in college and that's where I learned a lot of my makeup skills and like learned about a lot of brands from. I think it had like beauty YouTube definitely had a moment and I feel like now it's probably more on like TikTok and stuff but there's definitely still beauty YouTubers out there. So if you have any that you really like I would be interested. Everything I know is from 2016 so... <laughs> So speaking of makeup, I was in my friend's wedding a few weeks ago and she had a professional makeup artist do all of our makeup for the day, which I thought was the absolute coolest thing ever. 
I've never had my makeup professionally done before. Like I said, for my wedding, I, I considered it, but we already spent so much money on other stuff and I felt comfortable with my capabilities and my sister's capabilities. So we just did it ourselves, but having my makeup done was honestly amazing. One thing I did not like is that I don't use the eyelash curlers. They scare me a little bit and she did use that on me, which was kind of freaky. And then also just like the dance of like, when do I have my eyes open? When do I have them closed? Where am I supposed to look? But I thought it turned out really well and I would definitely recommend if you have the option to do that if you're in a wedding or something, I say get the makeup done by the professional. I felt like a, a little bit of a celebrity. Like obviously I'm not, but we did hair and makeup also and my hair also turned out really well. I'll insert a picture. Hairstylist that she used. Grew up in Germany and studied hair in Germany. And she like does tons of like cool braids and intricate things. And I actually found the inspiration picture for my hair on her Instagram that she had done for Bridesmaid at another wedding. And I know at one point they were worried about having enough time to like curl everybody's hair. So I sent her that. I was like, if you could do this, that'd be cool. If not, I could totally do something else. But I think this is fun and different and I can't really manage it on my own. So she was like, yeah, totally. And she gave me a little braid crown, which I loved. I was obsessed with it. It kept my hair out of my face for all the dancing that night. <laughs> I saw this thing today, I was looking at microblading and I didn't know you can get your lips microbladed and they'll like literally tattoo on a color. It's called like lip blush apparently. I honestly was like, I need that. My lips every day, if I'm not wearing a lip color, I feel like they look so washed out. But I've never heard of that before now. I don't know how I feel about tattooing my lips. <laughs> so if any of you have heard of that or have experienced it yourself and have any recommendations, I would appreciate it. Thanks for getting ready with me. I feel much better. Let's go fix this hair. Okay, y'all, update. We made it home. Dinner was delicious. We had a good time until Matt had some sort of allergic reaction <laughs> at dinner, so we got him some Benadryl, and hopefully he's gonna sleep it off and feel better in the morning. But I'm gonna end the vlog here, um, and I will talk to you in the morning. Bye guys.